Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. <coughs> Pardon me. Wow. Cough just came out of nowhere. Let's play some more of this game. Uh, Switzer Lake. We're building a Switz. It's a lake of Swiss Swiss cheese. That's that's what we're trying to do. From now on, that's what the campaign's all about. Swiss cheese. Why is it called Swiss cheese? Did the Swiss invent it? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe they did. Maybe they were the very first people on the whole planet to make that special type of cheese that mice love. They love it because they can live inside it, you know? It's like the best kind of food because you can you can literally live inside your, your dinner. I'm just talking, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Anyway. Um, so, hey Bohemia, can we attack you now? I mean, we almost have this claim on Bamberg. It could be done. Who are you allied with? Poland? Okay, Poland? That, that, that's sizable. That, that's a little bit. He's actually trying to integrate Lithuania. I'm pretty sure there's a button you can click that just makes you get him, so why would you do this? Oh wait, that's right, you're an AI. Never mind. It's a stupid question. Persia's independent, cool. Nice. This is Sparta! No, this is Persia! The Spartans fought against the Persians, I think. Anyway. In that one movie, 300. Well, we got our core. That was nice. No missions available. We have a truce with Castile. It just ended. That was the truce from France like ages ago. We can build more buildings. I guess we build another barracks if we've got anything above 250 or at 250. Sure. Go ahead. Do that one. Let's get that manpower cap up. Let's do a little bit of tiny bit of reinforcement so that we know where we're at. Know where we stand. Get another claim on Bavaria and Bamberg now. Let's go ahead and start up the next one on you. Again, this is all accepted culture group, so we would love to take both those provinces. We're sticking sticking our appendages into people. It's delicious and fun. Poland only has nine reasons to honor a call. If we could attack him without Poland, I would jump on it in a heartbeat. On the other hand, can we, can we bribe like France to join? Only because he's fighting in another war. Yeah. We'll take our tech. Let's see how we shape up here. Technologies. We have the most tech in the world and the most ideas in the world. <laughs> and we owe it all to Gerhard Munzinger. Like the most badass history, like leader in history. How long has this guy been our guy? By the way, let's go ahead and take our free stability right now. Um, how long has this guy been our leader? Best leaders in the world. Okay, previous rulers. Die tag Vincent Gazenger. No, we want to do by from from. He's been in charge since '67. This guy has been around for almost 40 years. He's just been leading us to glory. I mean, he's a six-six general or a six-six-six leader. Bavaria is no longer a valid rival. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I figured. We have an equal army to Austria. We have an equal army to the, the Holy Roman Emperor now. Well, we're definitely going to take a better infantry because we love infantry. We'll take the... We'll take the guys who have more mor offensive morale. Like, we want to crush. We want to take the reform Galloglass. We want to have high morale in the offensive shock phase. Um, shock comes first. No, fire comes first. But we want to we want to crush on morale. I think. And I'm really looking forward to the Reformation. No! No! I talked about him too much. We have a 631. Uh, we've abolished the corrupt republic and our, changed our system of government to a feudal monarchy. See, I could have sworn at some point I read a patch. The patch said that if you, rev if you fall to a despotism or whatever it's called, you should go back after the guy dies. Like, it's not supposed to just put you into a monarchy. But apparently we are one. So we lose some of our cool stuff. We lose the, um, the minus five years of separatism. Let's see. Where, where can we see this? Um. I can't even, I can't even look at it. Uh, change government. Right now we're a feudal monarchy. We have no vassals. National manpower modifiers, okay. National unrest and unjustified demands are probably better, but it's not worth paying for. Tech 12, we could switch to something not that great. 
I mean, I just, I would rather have been a republic. I thought we were going to go back to being a republic. But no, nope, apparently we were a monarchy. For the rest of the game. We could could try to become a theocratic administration, but unless you are a a holy order, you you cannot make your guy into battle pope. See, I was really looking forward to battle battle republic guy with the policy that gives siege value. Because like the next time the guy died, I was planning on just like always turning him into a general, so we always have extra generals with siege value. But no, game doesn't like me. A royal marriage. Hey, at least we have royal marriages available. I guess that's cool. I mean, we lose two legitimacy, but we could potentially... Potentially get some personal unions now. Bohemia has no heir, and he's 52. Unfortunately, I rivaled him. And yet he'd still accept a royal marriage from me. That's kind of funny. Well, by all means, <laughs> let's do a royal marriage with our rival. I mean... I mean, why not, right? What's his reasons? He's just, he doesn't even care. He's just, whatever, man. I will totally go for that opportunity. Personal union on monarch death. Well, that could be interesting. Muscovy's 31 with no heir. We should probably roll Mary France. We also have the... Nuremberg Alliance. I think we dropped that one. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry I rivaled you, man. Why would it even let me ally you? It's like considering it. It's seriously considering it. It's so stupid. Alright, tell you what. Regardless of how anything else is going, if we finish off our next military idea group, we're gonna just go hostile on France. I don't care. We'll kill both of them with our Swiss cheese troops. Because they're amazing. Hey, Bohemia, why don't you die? Just die. If you were to die right now, then a noble from House Ze Podebrad will... So not our dynasty. Really? Ze Podebrad. So is that, like, on halt? You, do you have more development than I do or something? Like, how is this working out? Bohemia has 222. I have more development than you do. How is it that when you die, you don't take on my dynasty? I don't get it. I mean, maybe we have a lot of autonomy or something? I guess that could be the case. Speaking of autonomy, we could lower autonomy in a few places. We have negative 91% unrest here. Sure. Crap. <laughs> it was already really close to zero. Uh, autonomy, so... Milan, yeah, that one we want to do. Whose land can we revoke? So, everything's changed, right? We don't have to give land to the burghers anymore. So, as long as they're not pissed, I think we're going to start revoking their land. Like, this province, I think we want to take... For sure. Thank you, yoink. You only... Okay, so... The nobility expect to control 15%, that's where they are. You expect to control 15%, so we can't revoke any of this stuff. Unless, some of our higher autonomy territory, like up here, is not even that high, actually. Like... It's actually doing pretty damn well. Hey dude, Bohemia, I seriously, I have way more. Is it because I rivaled you? Something weird's going on there. So we would fall into a union under France if we died right now. 
That's hilarious. I mean, I hope we don't die. We're only 19. It's pretty darn unlikely. I guess it could happen. So, um... We could attack Savoy. He's allied to Lorraine and Venice. We're still rivals with Venice. We have a truce with Venice until... 06, that's this year. We don't want any more land from Venice. We just really want Venice to stop being an eligible rival. This province is the wrong culture. Milan is still protected by Austria. Papal State will give Cor Arezzo to Florence. The Papal State will be forced to give Savoy some land. Or some money. And uh, that's about it. Okay. Castile would not protect him. Austria's only at 10 reasons. We don't really care about Burgundy's land. Again, it's Piedmontese, which is the wrong culture. But it is 25 development. Let's see. If I were to take this land. Aggressive expansion. Is actually pretty good again. I'd rather take this land. We have a fairly recent truce with him. Mines, we also have a fairly recent truce with. We just recently attacked Bavaria. And we can't attack Bohemia while we have the royal marriage. It's curious. No heir for Portugal. We'll try for it. I mean, we'll, I mean, if we're going to be a monarchy, I mean, we might as well, right? It's not really what I had expected, but... Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Also, this is horrible. One monarch point when we want more military points. We're going to have way more admin points than we know what to do with. Okay. Maybe we do just take over Savoy. I mean, if we don't, France is going to take it. Who are you allied to, Bavaria, or Bohemia? Whatever the hell your name is. Burgundy. Brabant and Flanders. No one that we care about. Let's go do this. It's not an accepted culture. It's not going to be an accepted culture. But I don't want France to get it, so... Right now he's got to set his vital interest. He's going to be pissed when I take it. I don't really care. France, you can go to hell. It's my land. It's inland, therefore it belongs to me. Right, I probably need a claim on it, don't I? We get a mission for it. Sadly, no. Man, Bohemia did not last long in this game, did they? Did I say Bohemia? I meant to say Burgundy. I, I'm just all over the place today. With words. Words are complicated, okay? You don't understand. They're tricky. You gotta be careful with them. Um, yeah, I'll build where there's local autonomy 14%. That's good enough, I think. Wow, that was quick. Try again. Settling, selling of indulgences. Piss the Pope off a little bit. Sounds great. <laughs> we want the Reformation. Let's go. It's time! We want to become Protestant. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get any more of these modifiers, so we don't care about it at all. Even though we do have three Cardinals, but... No, I think we're done. I think we're done with Catholicism. Words. Screw Catholicism. Let's get, let's get out of here. I could really go for an heir. Dude, could you get busy? Make some babies. Okay, speed four. We're 12 years ahead of time on all tech. And we have two completed idea groups. Savoy's truce is up. I suppose if we wanted to, we could just start this war right now. That puts us to war with Venice again. Maybe. He did recently just win a war. He could be in debt. Advance up the Po Valley. Portugal got their heir. 
Joao. Conquer Verona. Sorry, that's coastline. I don't like water. It's scary. I don't know if you're aware of this, but it's terrifying. Badanese are at uh, a little bit. So the legitimacy kind of hurts. Separatism will come down. Um, let's try to maybe squash that one a little bit. And while we're waiting on these claims, we might as well. We got discovered fabricating on Bavaria, but we're close enough that it makes no sense to cancel it. We can start working on another army. Let's build it backwards. We'll build the uh, the cannons and cavalry. No, that's stupid. We should... No, it, I mean... I, I want to merc up. I want to be able to merc up, you know? Maybe we just keep the force summit free until we're ready for sure to go up to another stack. Like, if we were at like 30,000 manpower, I'd just build... Start building it up. Okay, so we declare on you. We don't care about your allies. Or we declare on you. And again, we don't really care about your allies. Venice is still my rival. We don't really want any land from Venice, but we could totally humiliate him. Can we beat them all? I think the answer is yes. I think that Venice is nothing on us at this point. So, let's take the 2-3 to knock him out first. And let's go ahead and do this war. We can call in Austria. By all means, you know what? Let's let's use Austria's use their army. Yeah, I'm ready to take Piedmont. You want to cross this straight? With your zero maneuver? I dare you. We're going to start working on your capital with the siege guy. That's unfortunate, but uh, we've got infantry combat abilities, so we're awesome. Aha! My dudes are better than your dudes. Yeah, you're not going to cross that straight. Don't you even... Don't even, don't even try to pretend, man. I know you're not going to do it. You're just going to hang out on your little island forever. Aren't you? And I'm going to siege down Treviso, like, super fast, because I've got five siege bonus. Even without the siege leader. Wait, he's got siege value. He's got siege value. We have two guys with siege value. I keep forgetting we have two of them. That is very tempting. But I don't want to give up blockading this... him with this straight. That was a very quick siege. This one will go about just as fast. We've got 35 day siege ticks. Unfortunately, the Sav several yards are rather annoying. This is also very annoying. Let's just detach and go clear this up for now. Lost a claim on Sundgal. That's fine, we didn't want that claim in the first place. Uh... He didn't fight me. Did he use his boats to get across? Weird. There's no air for Denmark, and he's still got both unions. This is like all of Scandinavia. How old are you? 31? I mean, I'd consider it. Lorraine just constantly ends up at war with us. Poor guy. I almost feel bad. Regency and Aragon. We've already taken that. We can't cross the strait. Lorraine was just declared upon by France. Good. Good. Kind of. Piss off the Emperor, somehow. Surprised that, uh... Kind of surprised, surprised that... Ooh, a 621. Named Carl. So, you just attacked Lorraine. Lorraine is a prince. You're allied to the Emperor. But why didn't Austria honor the defensive call from a prince? Seems to me like something he should do, right? No war score here. We've got a little bit with Venice. We want enough to humiliate. Oh, he took the crossing penalty. Look at this. 
Never mind, he, he actually did get a guy with a maneuver. But, I mean, we're here to be reinforced. We're looking fine. Squish. Unfortunately, he did get an air. Rats. Alright, well, it is what it is. Okay, well, this war is going very well. Um, we're going to continue to just keep on beating up on Venice. We'll probably send this guy over to Istria. Since it doesn't look like Austria's being smart enough to go do it. I'll do it. Lorraine's trying to get pieced out again. I kind of don't want to piece him out because I don't want France to win the war. <laughs> is, that, is that mean? I feel like that might be mean, but I'm going to do it anyway. He's not very smart, is he? Right. Well, I will take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.